how did you um, fight through like society's kind of like um, the the way they like push people into a box or they they train you train you in these anti-black ways of like um, you know uh, uh, wearing having dreads is 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 uh, unprofessional or whatever you know boys growing their hair out is unprofessional is this is that like how did you and how do you what, what is the advice for people to just like what do you think how do you think people are able to detach themselves from this world of, of that world and like break free of those like ridiculous standards that are put on black people or tried or held or made to like hold black people in a certain light i would say i got that way when i really like i'm a big history guy but like when I got an appreciation for the history is when I was able to like decolonize my idea of success, right? Like one of my mentors told me like the way you define success will determine how hard your life will be. Like if you're somebody that thinks that like having a shed and, and just a well with some water is enough and it's content, you get to your shed and whatever, it's that. But if your idea of success is this Jeff Bezos acquisition of wealth where you're billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars in the green, you might be chasing that for the rest of your life. Probably will be chasing it forever because a lot of people don't make it there, right? And so it's like, I began to think about a lot of human discontent. Why are people unhappy? And it's because like a lot of people are doing shit that they don't like for check, right? For this idea of what the check can bring, right? And so then I started looking at like, okay, so like, why does everybody want to be super rich like you understand that a lot of these people that were saying that are super rich had like generations of head starts they had like trading companies they had i mean elon musk dad it was in mines you know what i'm saying like these people didn't just pull money out of their ass like yeah they might have grown up regular but their regular was the ability to give their kids a hundred thousand dollar loan or you know what i'm saying like things that we didn't have access to and so i say if i'm comparing myself to that standard and trying to run that race, I might be upset for the rest of my life about how the way this shit tracks. I didn't have that same, you know what I'm saying, that, that same head start. So let me sit here and let me look straight ahead in this race that I'm running and figure out, like, what does success look like for me? Like, realizing that it's always going to be relative. Like, you got to kind of just think most closely to your lived experience. Like, and I just really just had to take a step back and, and, and realize, like, damn, okay, you know, that McMansion dream of having a house, you know what I'm saying, from MTV Cribs with the 20 bedrooms. That ain't really my dream. I thought that shit was cool when we were younger, but I guess because that was just the standard that was superimposed. But I got older and I started, I'm like, kind of just want just enough space for me and my folks. A little bit of room for some guests, and you know what I'm saying? Like, just starting to imagine, like, like, especially as you're getting now into position to actually live this life. You're just like, okay, what is what is ideal for me? What what is realistic for me? Cause you're gonna be responsible for creating this life, right? Like you can't say, oh yeah, like my idea of success is I gotta make a million or I'm not successful. Cause if you're gonna spend the rest of your life think you a bum ass nigga until your account hits a million, you feel what I'm saying? And, and do you wanna put that stress on yourself? Or do you wanna like think about, you know what I'm saying, like, okay, I want success in me being able to pay the bills. Being able to take my lady out, being able to keep a haircut, get some fly shoes and I want them, right? Like making it tell it to your reality. So I, I, I would say I just changed my views on it. Um, when I kind of got to really like understand what I wanted to do with life and like start to put some direction to it, because then it just was like, okay, chasing somebody else's idea of success is going to always feel empty. Even if I do fuck around and get there and arrive and make this million dollars a billion, because that wasn't my success. Like, let me really think about what will bring me peace, like what will make me happy. And then that's how I was able to change my view. So like, I think people just got to kind of explore themselves and like what they have around them in order to like really understand like what their idea of success should be.